So how to use ChatGPT and Credit Coach DIY um, to either manually create your dispute letters faster and Credit Coach DIY automatically will create your dispute letters for you. Right. So creating a dispute letter using ChatGPT. Um, so if we look at this account, we can see some inconsistencies. Right. The date last active, the date open. Um, Equifax has a few things going on with the high credit amount, uh, the last reported date and the date of last payment. Right. So, you know, we I highlighted all of those different things. So what you want to do with chat GPT is um, you want to open up chat.openai.com or uh, and you want to enter the following prompt in the specific section where it says send a message. Right. And what you really want to do is say something like this in regards to this account right here. Right. This is a this is a repossession account. I, I believe it's a repo or I think I just use repo here. But regardless of what kind of account it is, if this is a repo account or if it's a charge off account, or if it's a collection account, you give ChatGPT the command and it's going to spit out whatever you ask it for. So you want to say create a dispute letter requesting the investigation and deletion of a voluntary repossession auto loan that is reporting three different dates of last activity. And then you want to put the dates that each bureau is reporting. So notice how I put TransUnion is reporting this date, Experian reporting this date, and then Equifax was reporting that date. And then you want to click the enter button. And what's going to happen is ChatGPT is actually going to spit out a uniquely drafted dispute letter specifically for what you requested it to do. Right. And like I said, if if and when you are able to download this particular presentation, you can you can zoom in and, and, and see what this is like. You join my mentorship program, uh, you sign up for Credit Coach DIY and get access to the Facebook group and stuff like that. I have videos where I'm showing you guys exactly how to do these these very things. And it doesn't matter what kind of account it is that you're disputing. Late payments, charge offs, collections, repos, medical debt, bankruptcies. You can put the input in chat GBT and it will actually spit it out the way that you want it. Right. Um, that's the beautiful thing about using that. Now, creating dispute letters with credit codes DIY. Right. So you can create an account for free, add your profile information, connect your smart credit three bureau credit report to the software from there. And just a click of a few buttons, you know, credit coach DIY is going to do all the work for you. Um, you don't have to pay a credit report company to do this work or you don't have to analyze your credit reports for errors on your own or draft your own dispute letters. Credit coach DIY will take care of all of that hard work and stress for you and complete the process on its own for you. Right. So the first thing you want to do is get started. So when you sign up for Credit Coach DIY, you're going to create an account. You're going to input the rest of your information, sign up for Smart Credit, link your Smart Credit account, and you're going to, um, the program is going to open up to this particular page, which is your dashboard, where you're going to be able to see um, everything that's going on um, with your credit repair process, right? This is your home page, or your, like I said, your dashboard, where you're able to see the home. Um, credit items at the top you're able to see dispute letters my history and some and tutorials where there's videos um, that you can watch so if you notice um on the actual uh dashboard you have what's called your dispute plan so what you want to do is you want to follow the particular timeline that they have um you know starting with creating and mailing your dispute letters for each of the credit bureaus Right by what's called the send letter, the send letter date. Right, so if you notice here um, above this send letter date that's highlighted, it says create dispute letter. Now that means that you haven't created a dispute letter yet, and you need to create a dispute letter, and you need to send that letter by that date that's highlighted. Right, so that's what that means. And again, you can see all your three bureau credit report scores. You're also able to see when that credit report was imported. On the, or the date that you basically started your credit coach DIY account and it was able to pull your credit report in. Right. So your dispute timeline, um, you'll notice at the top of your screen, um, you can't really see it that well here, but there's a little blue circle right at the top under the, you know, home credit items dispute letter. Uh, my history and tutorials tab. It says th there's a number in there that says 40, right? It, it, that's a 40 day countdown timer, right? That, that, that countdown timer starts when you mark your dispute letter as sent, right? And it's a 40 day countdown timer because we give you 40 days or, or 10 days to be able to send your letters right to the bureaus 
and for the bureaus to respond and send the letters back because they, they technically have 30 days to complete their investigation. So the software accounts for that time for you before you need to re-import your newest monthly credit report, check for results and send any other dispute letters out. And this is why the dispute process is a multi-letter process, right? It'd be great to be able to send one letter and every you know, fix everything, but that's not normally the case, right? The dispute process is almost always a multi-letter process, and it can take a few months and a few follow-up letters to achieve your desired goals. So again, with Credit Coach DIY, it will import your credit report, right? And it will put the letters together for you for the first round. And if you need to dispute again, it will then change the strategy for you, right? Create a second round of disputes analyze the credit report again, compare it to the last credit report in the last round of letters that were sent, and then create another dis round of dispute letters for you every 30 days. And you know you can keep going until you need to, until everything is fixed, as long as um, you know uh, the, the, the software finds more errors. And every time that a dispute letter, um, you send one, this is called a round, right? Every time you send dispute letters off, this is called a round. OK, so that's round. So, th so this is round one. So again, round one is your first dispute letters that go out. Then 40 days later, the software will import and analyze your newest credit reports to show you the results. So again, this is why I say th th this thing does everything for you. And again, it will change the strategy that it uses to dispute based on what's going on. So any account um, from round one, right, that you disputed that were not repaired or deleted will be disputed here in round two in each round the software reads your credit report and changes the strategies right so again this is why this particular uh software is so unique right and it doesn't matter how many accounts you dispute as a matter of fact the software what it does is it'll track and guide you through each um dispute right and you can send as many rounds as you feel are necessary again if you need to send four five six rounds it doesn't matter right and the credit bureaus they prefer that you include all of your disputes in one letter whether it be one account that you're disputing or a hundred accounts you need to put them all on one letter don't make separate letters for each dispute if you do that with the software the software is not going to you know it's not going to operate properly so that's very important um so the next section that you want to pay attention to on your dashboard when you scroll down is your your account section right so this account section is where you're going to find where you can upload your photo id and your proof of address so these are things that we're going to need um or you're going to need to be able to mail off to the actual credit bureaus when you send your dispute letters you need to attach your photo id and your proof of address to the actual dispute letters Right. Um, and now when it comes to your, your your ID, right, there's a certain acceptable forms of ID, right? You, either your driver's license, a passport photo or a state issued ID. Please make sure that the images and copies of your ID and everything else are clear and visible. Don't send blurry copies or something where you can't see the information where it's hard to read. If it's hard for you to read and it's blurry and stuff like that don't send it like a lot of times we get clients that send us their stuff and their stuff be blurry it's hard to read it's like you have to care about your process like put some effort towards you know making sure that things look you know decent and legible you know if you're going to act like you don't care then you're not going to get the results the bureaus aren't going to care Right. Like imagine if you end up trying to take the bureaus to court and you submit evidence that you submitted a copy of your ID and it's blurry and a jury or a judge looks at that. They're going to be like, look, you don't care about your own. Steve. Well, you sent them this blurry image. What do you expect them to do? And they're going to tell you straight up like that. Right. Proof of address. Now, when it comes to sending proof of address, because, again, the bureaus need to verify that is you. Right. Um, this needs to be either a use utility bill, bank statement, insurance statement, and it needs to be recent. And your name and address needs to be visible on the document and the name and address of the actual lender. Right. Or, you know, if it's an electric company, their name and address needs to be visible on the actual document as well, too. Right. So now for your dashboard. Right. Um, 
every section on your dashboard has one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to make the dispute process easy for you. Right. So um, with each click, you know, the software works in the background to guide you through each step and the dashboard always lets you know where you are in the process. So if you have any questions about anything, you need to just look at your dashboard and, you know, you can also do this on your phone. This is what the mobile view would look like um, as well. So like I was talking about the countdown timer. Right. So the 40 day countdown timer, like I said, it lets you know. Um, uh when the DIY software will automatically link uh, to your credit report provider and bring you the newest credit report and, you know, see the results of your dispute letters. So it's again, it's going to let you know where you are in the process, right? Your credit scores is going to show you your Vantage 3.0 scores and your credit uh, report provider, along with the date that your credit report um, was imported or came in right at the bottom see is highlighted in the blue that's the date that you actually import your credit report into the diy system and again here's the dispute section plan um again it lets you know what actions need to be done and when they need to be done by you need to create the dispute letter it's going to let you know if you created the dispute letter it's going to let you know if you sent the dispute letter it's going to let you know but you also need to mark it as sent and you need to actually create the actual dispute letter Right. Um, under that is your credit report provider It's going to show that, you know, your credit report is either active or not active. Um, then uh, there is the next three bureau update date, which it should match the credit report date and the 40 day countdown timer at the top of the page. So, again, the date that your credit report came in, which is this date, and then 40 days after that date, it should match up with the date that's here on the uh on the right hand side right the next three bureau update date right so that for that date should match the 40 days plus the import date um so your credit item section this is where you're able to view all three credit bureaus and the items that are positive and negative anything that's going to be in dispute that's been repaired or deleted you'll be able to see all of that information um here on the actual dashboard um the credit items item section when you open it up inside the section you're going to find um, details of all the accounts separated by uh, credit bureaus. On the left hand side, you can also use what's called the filter to search it down by account, right? So, right here, it's, you know, it shows all the accounts. Um, if we were to scroll down, you can see some of the negative accounts, but you can actually filter it to show only negative accounts, only positive accounts, um, accounts in dispute, et cetera, right? Um, so, these are the uh, positive accounts are in green and the negative accounts are in red. So when you're in that particular section, that's what you're going to see. Um, you also have the dispute letter section. There's nothing, excuse me, there's nothing here right now because no dispute letters were generated for this particular profile. But if you do have dispute letters that are generated in the DIY system, they will be um, updated here and you'll be able to access them. Right. The my history section at the top. Right. You're going to see um, your current scores um, and below is a graph that is, you know, keep track of your credit score movements each time that you um, import your newest credit report and it's added to your actual um, profile. Right. So you'll be able to keep track and monitor your, your overall process from your scores, how much, you know, your scores go up um, and, you know, by how many points. Um, etc. And again, your dispute plan will always guide you through the entire process. Um, red means that there's an action that needs to be taken. Um, and to the right, uh, you would need to create dispute letters to send out uh, by the date that's indicated below, right? Counting for enough time uh, for you to complete the letters, mail them, and get the results within the 40 day uh, time frame, right? So creating your actual dispute letters. So because each credit reporting agency is different, and they can have different information on each credit report, you'll need to send separate dispute letters for each credit bureau, right? And to the right, you know, we're gonna start with TransUnion. But again, you, you need to send a separate letter to each credit bureau. And once you click, uh, click create dispute letter, the software is gonna do all the work. It's gonna sing out all the negative accounts for you in red. Um, it's gonna give you a suggested dispute reason as well, uh, where you could click the plus button to see what um, what's negative about the account. So for example, uh, this account says that it was paid 30 days late four times, right? But at the, and then at the bottom 
of each account is what they call a suggested reason, which the software found and pretty much inserted the dispute language for you, right? Which says that this account is incorrectly reporting that I have four late payments. And it says on my Experian report, um, there are two late payments uh, reported. So it gives you the actual verbiage that is going to be used in the actual letter for that account to get that account removed. And this software works by scanning thousands of long, uh, lines of code in your credit report looking for those specific errors, discrepancies, and inaccuracies. So again, the software is amazing. Um, now, even though it doesn't find, uh, even if it doesn't find anything, right, it'll still give you the best suggested reason with the highest probability for success for, um, you know, getting that account removed, right? And, and again, this is just how the software works. Um, you also have a section in here that you can access and see what the public records are, but this, this account didn't have any bankruptcy, so there's nothing there. And then also a section for hard inquiries. Right. And if you notice some of these hard inquiries, they occur within the same like kind of time frame on the same date. So those are typically what we want to dispute because it shows that the bill or, or the lender just ran your credit report all over the place. And that's not that's not proper or accurate. So the software, again, it'll it'll scan your report for any inquiries that were added on the same day and give you the suggested reason to dispute that account. So in this particular case, it it put the reason is that there are multiple inquiries within one day of each other on my credit report, but I only authorized uh, one of them. Please remove all of the um, unauthorized inquiries uh, immediately. So again, perfect language, perfect verbiage that you would need to get an account like that removed inquiries, right? Um, so the total items that you dispute, the software is going to show you how many accounts uh, you've dis selected to dispute. You don't have to dispute every account. Um, and this is why there's no select all button, but you can select as many accounts as you want and then you click the next button. And again, the credit bureaus, they prefer you put all of your disputes, including inquiries on one dispute letter and not use multiple letters. Right. So you can include the inquiries and the accounts that you need disputed on the same dispute letter. Right. And with choosing the dispute reason, again, even though the software is sophisticated enough to find the errors and will give you a suggested dispute reason, it doesn't force you to take it. Right. You can add your own dispute reason. So if you go in there and you choose your dispute reason from the drop down menu, you can choose a different type of dispute if you think it's a better fit. Or if you know exactly what's wrong with the account, you can choose what's called custom reason and write your own dispute reason if you want. Right. So you have total control over everything. However, it's highly recommended that you just go with the suggested reason. Um, and then once you've done that, Right. And you click, you know, you go through each account that you dispute, you choose everything and you click next and you go over here. It's you're, pre you're pretty much done. Right. Right. Round one disputes are done after that. And once done, you know, creating your letter is going to email it to you along with your ID and proof of address attached. So you just print it off and send it. I suggest that you mail them. I, I kind of get into mailing as well, but. You know, there's a certain way you want to do that. And from here, you can move on to dispute with the next credit reporting agency. So we started with TransUnion and then you're going to move the Experian and Equifax. You're going to run the same process through the system, the DIY program, the same exact way until you're done with each bureau. And that's it. You're waiting on, on your 30 days in between time. Like I said, you want to get in one of my mentorship programs, you know, um, you know, access some of the videos and stuff like that in the Facebook group for the DIY and you know connect with me so we can you know help you during that process while you're waiting because there's certain things that you need to be doing on your own right um and again it's best to create your dispute with all of the credit reporting agencies and mail them out at the same time if you're using the diy don't do one one day go do the next credit bureau the next day and then the next one the next day do them all the same day right and when you finish up and you go back right once you um you know, you click go to dashboard, your dashboard is going to update. Once you're finished creating your dispute letter, right, it's going to update and let you know when the letter was created and when you need to send it for best results to stay within the 30 or 40 day timeline. Then at the bottom, you want to make sure that you click mark letter as sent, right? How it's highlighted here. And then you're going to type in the date that you're mailing that letter off, either the, the actual day that you're doing this or the next day and just make sure that you send that letter by that date and then all of that information is recorded for you for your records right so now you know when you did the letter what date when you sent the letter you have a copy of the letter you have all this data that will keep you 
you know, informed and up to date about your actual dispute process. And again, when you're mailing your dispute letters off, you know, it's, it's, it's normal, normally best practice to get um, these sent certified with a return receipt. And also, if you can help it, get the actual dispute letters notarized, right? Like it, it, it does make a difference. Right, because it, it turns it into a legal document. It lets the bureaus know. Look, we, I mean business. Like I'm spending a couple extra dollars just to let you know. Like everything that I believe to be inaccurate on this report is inaccurate, and I'm sending it to you with proof and evidence that you got it, and you better do what you're supposed to do about it. Right. So now, results and follow up. Right, because 40 days have gone by. It's time to reimport your next credit report. See what happens. See if anything came off. If anything stayed, and we got to continue the dispute process, right? So, after 40 days, the DIY software is going to report, import, and scan your newest credit reports for results, right? So, at the top of the page, you'll notice if your scores have gone up or down, and by how many points since the initial credit report import, right? In this particular example, the scores went up, right? So repaired and deleted items. So under your credit item section, uh, you can see that the software scanned the new credit report and compared um, it to uh, compare that one to the one from the last month. Right. It then shows you how many accounts were either uh, repaired or deleted from each credit reporting agency. So, again, you'll be able to track and monitor all of these different things. Right. Again, when it comes to these responses, you got to understand nobody's doing an investigation on your credit report these are all automated responses from the credit bureaus right so this is the most important part is these round two follow-up dispute letters and again most of the times the credit reporting agencies and your creditors will provide an automated response like the one on the screen to the right that the account has been verified right oh the account has been verified as reporting accurately 99 percent of the time this is bs it's 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 not Right. And, and at the end of the day, even if it is, they didn't perform this particular section, a reasonable investigation. Now, remember, we already talked about all these different things. So this is why this is this is coming up again, because it's very important to understand as part of the process. You might want to watch this video again. Right. Or a few times. I know it's a little long, but it's what's necessary and what's going to keep you on the path of you know credit success. So the reasonable investigation. Right. The Fair Credit Reporting Act, again, it mandates that when creditors receive disputes and the credit bureaus, when they receive disputes from you, they have to conduct what's called a reasonable investigation into your disputed item. And most times the bureaus don't even conduct an investigation at all. And again, this is because they use another automated system called eOscar to do the disputes. And again, you have the right to disagree. You got a right to disagree with the results and ask for proof of the investigation. And that's what your round two dispute letter is all about. This is why the dispute process is a multi-letter process. And with Credit Coach DIY, you don't have to worry about switching up the language and, 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 and changing up your strategy. The, the AI software is going to do that for you. It's going to read and interpret the credit report based on your results and based on your newest report and the letters that it sent out. It's going to adjust the dispute to... Um, a new reason and stuff like that. So when it comes to these round two dispute letters, the process is basically the same as the round one letters. You're going to bring your credit report in. You're going to look at the dates that you got going on and, you know, just click the button. And it's going to take you to the process where you can, you know, st uh, start choosing the um, accounts that you want to dispute again. Right. And again, it's going to let you know when you need to send your letters by and when. And when you click the dispute, um, you know, create dispute letter, it'll show you all of the accounts that you disputed the last month that are still negative and didn't get repaired or deleted, right? Because some of them will come off, but the ones that don't, st it'll, it'll show you which ones they are and they'll still be highlighted in red, right? So um, again, the software, it remembers that you completed a round one dispute and went, right? And then it'll change to a round, due to, uh, round two dispute strategy. And then you'll notice the new dispute reason below. Um, it's an escalation from the last dispute. So what it says is, because um, if you remember the language from the previous dispute, I don't know if I went over it, but it says, I previously disputed this account stating that this account incorrectly reported that I had four late payments. And on my experience report, there are two late payments being reported. I don't agree with the results of your investigation. Please mail me the proof of your investigation and proof of the negative payment status for this account or delete the negative information on this account. That's that's a proper round two escalation if they verify an account. That's how you want to put th th that language is perfect, 
right? And again, Credit Coach DIY does all of this for you. You don't have to worry about analyzing the credit report, figuring out which language you got to put in there. It's going to do it for you, right? It doesn't get no better than this. Round two dispute letters, right? So just like in round one, you can select the selected, um, the suggested dispute reason, or you can choose your own, write a custom dispute reason if you want, if you think it's better. But for better results, it's recommended to go with the round two suggested reason, especially if the credit reporting agencies didn't provide you with the results of the investigation. Again, follow up is the key to the dispute and repair process. It's not about that first letter, right? And then again, once you go through that process, you choose everything, you finish. Right. Just like in round one, once you finish creating your round two dispute letter, the software is going to automatically uh, email you the newest set of letters to be mailed off with copies of your ID, proof of address. And from there, you can move on to the other credit reporting agencies if you need to dispute accounts with them as well. Right. Um, again, you want to um, let the software, uh, I mean, let the dashboard is going to update and reflect the date that the round two letters were created. Um, and you want to make sure that you just mark it as sent and send it by the date that you mark so that you can stay within that 40 day time frame. Um, and again, like I said, in another 40 days, it's going to reimport your credit report again, scan it, compare it to the previous one. And from there, you can move on to round three, four or five if you need to um, with each round of the software um, and in each round, the software will track the results and guide you. Uh, through every step. Again, analyzing the credit report, creating the best um, likely suggested for the disputes and letting you know what still needs to be disputed or not. So, you know, by joining Credit Coach DIY, you're going to get access to credit monitoring, right? That will track and monitor your scores for you. Uh, dispute letters that are customized specifically for your particular credit situation. You're going to get 50% off members only coupon for all my ebooks and uh, courses. Members only access to the Facebook group to connect with me and other members and credit building access to credit building workshops and, you know, trainings uh, to learn how to build your credit and uh, why you're repairing it. So for a total value of it's even more than worth more than $99 a month, but it's only $39 a month, right? Only $39 a month. And if you want to join right now, all you got to do is scan the QR code that's on the screen and it'll take you directly to Credit Coach DIY. You get signed up, come back, watch the video, implement what, you know, um, you know, what you've learned, watch some of the tutorials, uh, reach out to me if you have any questions or anything like that. And, you know, get started and on your way to credit success. And I'll see you guys on the other end. All right. Peace.